All right, welcome back to Let's Learn ABA in 60 Seconds from ABA Exam Review. Today we're continuing with a reversal design. What is a reversal design? It's an experimental design that tests the effectiveness of an intervention by adding it, taking it away, and then adding it back. This is also referred to as a withdrawal design. If we look in Cooper, they bring a synonymous aspect between the reversal and the withdrawal. So we're going to refer to it as a reversal. A reversal has three phases. We have our baseline, A, our treatment, B, and back to baseline, A. So we're taking baseline data, we're introducing the independent variable in treatment, and then we're going back to baseline. If you reintroduce the independent variable through an ABAB design, you're strengthening the proof of that functional relationship. You can also do it as a BAB design where you start with the intervention, go to baseline or removal or reversal, go back to intervention, or you can do multiple treatments where you have baseline and then multiple treatments such as B and C where you're reversing back and forth. So what does this look like? If you look at our most basic example at the top, we've got our baseline A, our treatment B, reverse back to baseline A, go back to treatment B. A functional relationship appears to exist as baseline is the same and only does the treatment phase change or only does the baseline change, I should say, when the independent variable is introduced in treatment. If we look at one below, we can look at some of our baseline logic, prediction, verification, and replication. We can predict how baseline looks if no treatment is introduced. We can verify that baseline by going back or reversing to baseline. And then we can replicate our intervention by going to treatment two.